NASA and Microsoft collaborate to walk where no man has walked before. Mars. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, is collaborating with Microsoft to create OnSite, a tool that uses Microsoft's holographic computing technology to enable scientists to operate NASA's Curiosity rover almost as if they were standing beside it on Mars. OnSite extends the mission's existing planning tools by allowing scientists around the world to meet in a 3D simulation of the Martian environment. The simulation uses real rover data, allowing scientists to examine the rover's worksite from a first-person perspective, plan new activities, and preview the results of their work firsthand. The term that we like to use for this technology is holographic computing because we're trying to make things that look like holograms appear in the world around us. We want things from Mars to appear like they're present in our offices. What we learned is that field work, being present in an environment on Earth, is of great importance to them because they learn so much just by looking around, just by walking around in the environment that they're trying to explore. We want to give them some of that same sensation while they're exploring Mars. Not because it's a gimmick and not because it's fun, but because it will help them to reach scientific insight more quickly and more confidently than peering at images on a screen like they do today. I feel like this is a new way for us to think about exploration. We want to physically go everywhere, and I think that's our destiny, that we will send human explorers throughout our solar system and beyond. But until we're able to do that, we've sent our robots ahead. And by building tools that make us feel more connected to those robots and the environments that they're exploring, we can change our experience of exploration in a very fundamental and exciting way. What OnSite allows us to do is actually get up from our desk and walk around and virtually explore the surface of Mars not through standard two-dimensional flat images, which we are forced to use right now because that's all we've had, but now we actually can literally walk around inside that environment. What that gives us is a whole new way to understand the context, where our rover or other spacecraft may be sitting on the surface of Mars, where it is in relation to other features, other scientific targets, other areas of interest, how far away they are, and, it, and gives us a much better sense of understanding of that entire context. It's like teleportation. <laughs> you, you know, you, when you use it long enough, it's like you're, you know, you're not in the room anymore. You are on Mars. You, 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 you know, short of having uh, comm channels checking in with Houston or, you know, the, the front panel of, a, of an astronaut's uh, helmet, it's like being there, uh, you know, except with air, which is always nice and warm. So it's it's just it's just astounding. It, it it when you take it off, you're like, whoa! I, I'm on Earth, really? <laughs> no, I was just on Mars. How did that happen? Uh, it's just a fantastic experience. The new technology, it's really about saving time and accuracy. Currently, it takes us, let's say, a good hour and a half to get an observation together because we're going back and forth between uplink leads and scientists. With the new technology, we can probably cut that down to tens of minutes at most. We always talk about being on a mission that we take pictures like you're on Mars. Well, now you literally are immersed in Mars, in that location. You become not only the location of where the rover is and seeing what's on the, on the surface, but you can change your position. So you can change your orientation. And we can't do that with our current uh, software that we use in our operations today. We're basically stuck in this one uh, monoscopic view Trying to visualize what the surface of Mars looks like is something that I do try to do every day in my head and I, I kind of have to force myself to do it and to understand what the rocks look like. And so this makes it a lot easier. <laughs> and I, my, I don't have to work so hard to actually visualize what Mars looks like. So while it is really cool, I think it is actually really helping us make better decisions about how to operate the rover based on the new information that we can just visualize so much better about the surface of Mars. What we do often is someone will say, you know, I'm interested in this rock. And we'll say, is it this one? And they'll say, no, it's the one to the right. And then <laughs> you'll have this funny conversation where you're all trying to figure out what it is you're talking about. Uh, but with this program, you can basically have your avatar point to a rock you're interested in 
and then everyone else's avatars can go run and see what it is. <laughs> for more information, visit JPL's website. Thanks for watching. See you next time.